Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. While we're waiting for everyone to log in, we're showing a short film featuring the core roof mount system, which we'll be talking more about shortly. Thanks everyone for joining us here today for the latest innovation in roof mount systems. My name is Ian Crawford and I'm a Sunlink product manager broadcasting to you live from Sunlink's headquarters in San Rafael, California. My colleague Jeff, who is one of Sunlink's product designers and the real brains behind the core roof mount system, will provide an overview of core roof mount from Sunlink's offices in Vermont. So here's a quick look at the agenda for today's webinar. I'll start off with a few words about Sunlink and our balance of system approach and track record. Then Jeff will jump right in to tell you all about core roof mount system. It will then be my privilege to introduce you to a new product of ours, Precision Roof Mount. And then Jeff will tell you some exciting details about our new seismic testing we've conducted on both systems. And then I'll wrap things up. A little detail here before we get moving. We'd love to hear questions from all of you listening from your offices. But particularly, if you look at the right-hand side of this slide, if you can set your chat setting to all panelists, as, as it indicated, illustrated on the slide, you'll be able to communicate questions to us over chat. Uh, we'll be fielding questions about halfway through the presentation and then again at the end. And we really look forward to your questions uh, and, and let, giving greater details about what we'll be covering today. So on the next slide, uh, I'd really like to outline Sunlink's balance, balance of system approach. Unlike other racking manufacturers, Sunlink is a total balance of system provider. Our highly engineered roof mount, ground mount, combiner box, and wire management products are designed to be installed as part of an integrated package. This really offers you both the convenience of a one-stop shop, but also the improved insulation efficiency and the value afforded by balance of system components that work seamlessly together. On this next slide, I really like how this map illustrates our experience across North America. It really shows how we've gained a lot of expertise in installing projects in every environment, including high wind, seismic, and snow zones, over more than 250 megawatts and 1,200 sites. On our next slide, what I really like to focus on is, is what Sunlink has been undertaking for the last two to three years. For the past year specifically, Sunlink has been actively soliciting feedback from customers on our products and processes. In response, we've really worked really hard to develop products that eliminate customer pain points. And for those of you who are familiar with Sunlink's legacy roof mount systems, you'll see a lot of improvements today that you'll really like. And we're really excited to show them to you today. Among the customer-centric features that customers now enjoy, 
We offer standardized materials, lower overall fastener and part counts, increased inventory and overages, and various components, specifically on the precision roof mount system, delivered pre-assembled to you at your site. But I know you're all more than eager to learn more about the products themselves. And so with that, it's my pleasure to introduce Jeff Hartman, who will introduce, who will walk us through the first of our exciting new roof mount systems, CORE. Please bear oh, thanks a lot, Ian. Oh, th thanks a lot, Ian. Uh, and thanks again to everyone for taking a little time to join us today to learn about some of our new products. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, CORE RMS which is uh, a new product for Sunlink. And it was specifically designed to be both easy to assemble uh, as well as roof friendly. If you want to jump to the next slide. Um, nice thing about Core, it supports both framed and frameless or laminate modules. So this means it's compatible with just about every framed module on the market, uh, as well as approved for use with many frameless modules, uh, including First Solar, Abound, and Neosolay. Jump to the next slide. Um, I want to take just a minute to kind of run through the different components of the system. Um, so to keep assembly simple, core only has five parts. Uh, there's the foot, which is shown here in red, and that's the main interface with the roof. It's manufactured with recycled rubber for compatibility with all roofing materials. And it also comes pre-assembled with the required fasteners to assemble it. Um, it distributes load over a nice big one square foot area. The links uh, connect the feet north-south, and those provide the structural support underneath the module as well as between the rows. Uh, the links come pre-punched with the mounting holes, so there's no measuring or jigs required uh, when you're assembling it. That's, that's a pretty nice feature. And they're also easy to swap out to vary row spacing to suit your specific project needs. The rail uh, provides support for the module, and it also comes pre-installed with the nuts for the module clamps. We call them rib nuts. And they're going to come pre-installed for your particular module. It's got flanges on it for wire management, uh, as well as pre-punched holes for mounting microinverters. Uh, and then lastly, the rail post, and that's the main connection between the rail foot and the link, and it sets the module tilt. And that's designed to transfer forces throughout the system. Lastly, uh, the module clamps secure the modules. Um, we call them intelligent because they space and align the modules automatically. There's no measurement required. The clamp uh, also grounds and bonds the frame of the module to the system. So because of that, we only require one grounding lug per subarray, and that can go in uh, pre-punched holes in the rail. So this means that uh, the system conforms to UL 2703, and that's certified by ETL for any module with a UL listing. So this may be a little different than your experience with previ previous Sunlink products or some of our competitors, um, but our grounding method is certified by ETL for any module with a UL listing, not just a uh, select uh, module or model number. Um, to give you uh, just an a, a idea of the installation process, I want to show you a quick assembly video. So you're going to uh, start the assembly process by laying out the feet in a north-south orientation. And then you're going to drop the rail post onto those pre-installed fasteners in the feet that I mentioned. There's a north and a south rail post to set the module tilt. Next, you're going to put the links in. Uh, and you're going to drop those over those same fasteners. They're shared between the rail post and the links. The shorter rail link goes under the module, and the longer row link goes in the row between the modules. Next, the rail is going to drop onto the rail post. One of the nice features we've, uh, we've added for core is that all of the substrate uses the same half-inch hex bolt and nut everywhere in the system for the, the substrate. So you're going to put the nuts and bolts to fasten the links and rails. For a ballasted system, the ballast pan rods are going to slide into pre-punched holes in the rail. And those are secured in place by hammering a spring pin through each end of the rod. Then the drops onto the rods before bending the flanges of the pan over the rod and securing with a nut and bolt. Then you can go ahead and place your ballast in the pan. For connected systems, 
there's a two inch diameter post and that's fixed to the deck and can be flashed uh, just like you would a pipe. The connector rod then slides into the pre-punched holes in the rail and that's secured by four spring pins, uh, two for each rail. And then the rod and the post are held together with that same half inch hex bolt and nut, which was used for the rails and the links. Lastly, the modules are going to go on. And you start by placing what we call the landing pad in pre-punched holes in the rail. And that's going to align and space the modules out. You can drop the modules down then and secure them with a center clamp or an end clamp and a 5 16 button head cap screw. And that's going to ground the frame in the process of clamping. So that gives you an idea of the install process. Uh, to give you an estimate of the time to install, we've collected a little bit of data from several medium-sized projects, and we expect you to be able to install about 270 framed modules per day with a four-man crew, or 400 laminate modules a day. And I'd, uh, lastly, I'd like to wrap up the overview of CORE by just reviewing some of the roof-friendly features of the system. Uh, the recycled rubber feet provide a big, soft contact surface that's compatible with all roofing materials. And this also prevents contact between the roof and any metal components. And uh, due to the rail-based architecture of CORE, uh, it has as much as 50% fewer points of contact for the roof. It's a, a nice feature of the rail-based rail architecture. Uh, and the system also, also offers great thermal compensation due to the low expansion and contraction rate of steel. And it also offers some flexibility in the link and rail connections resolve any remaining thermal forces. I want to jump to the next slide. Another great feature on CORE is its ability to follow pitch changes in the roof. As you can see from the picture here, um, at each rail and link connection, uh, the components can articulate two and a half degrees. So this is going to let you assemble the system properly over um, things like crickets, drains, and ridges, which are pretty common on the, on the roof. So that's going to wrap up the overview of CORE. Uh, I'm going to check back in with Ian and see if there's any, any questions about CORE we can answer at this point. Sure, Jeff. Thanks a lot for that information. That was a really great rundown of CORE. Uh, we have a couple of really good questions that have come in. One particularly is uh, focused on the ballast pans. Uh, we have a, a listener who wants to know whether the ballast pans sit on the roof or whether they are suspended above the roof. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, the ballast pan actually does sit on the roof. Um, that's great. Also, uh, what is the minimum project size for the core system? Um, minimum project size for core, I believe, is uh, 25 kilowatts. Okay, that's great. Also, you, you detailed uh, grounding. Can you go into the grounding uh, details a little bit further? Sure, yeah. The, uh, the grounding feature is one that we've worked hard on uh, in the product group at Sunlink. Um, it's the, the clamp has a, a piercing feature that pierces through the anodization on the frame and effectively grounds the module to the system. And we've certified not only the clamp, but the entire system with ETL. So it's UL 2703 compliant, and, uh, and it's as a grounding means, and it's certified for any module with a UL listing, which is a pretty nice feature. That's great. Also, uh, as far as pavers are concerned, uh, is, it, is it a standard paver? Is, are they specific to the system? Some listeners good want question. to know about that. Yeah, yeah, good question. We, can, we do have two flavors of ballast pan. One is designed to work with the, uh, both are designed to work with pavers you can get off the shelf. Um, the first is designed to work with a 12 inch by 12 inch by two and a half inch paver. And then the other is for a four inch by eight inch by 16 inch paver. So you can get both those off the shelf depending on your preference. Okay, that's great. Also, what size modules are supported by the system? What size modules? Yeah. Um, just about any, any module that's out on the market uh, it can be supported supported by core now. Uh, 
So and, and just about any framed module, and then most most laminate modules, we've we've worked with a lot of manufacturers to to certify our our clamps uh, to be compatible with their laminate modules. Okay. So no limitations also, on size. Uh, I'll I'll take two more questions right now, and then I think we should move on. But uh, another good question that came in, just came in is uh, how often does a ground load need to be attached to the system? Yeah, grounding lug needs to be attached to the system once per subarray. So wherever you have connected mounting system, you're effectively grounded. Uh, so just once once per connected uh, subarray. Okay, that's great. One other, one last question before we move on is, uh, how are the rail posts attached to the rubber feet? How are the rail posts attached to the rubber feet? Good question. There's uh, two half-inch carriage bolts that come pre-installed in the foot. And those come uh, pre-assembled in there. The rail post uh, drops into basically a recess in the in the rubber foot, uh, and there's holes in the rail post to kind of um, it slides into the into the recess, and the bolts stick up through the bottom of the rail post. And then there's a spot to to place the link in. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you very much for the information. One other uh, update is I've seen a few. A few listeners asked this question: Is that uh, specifically will they be able to access the presentation after uh, after our live presentation? And, and the answer is yes. It'll be available um, via. We'll, we'll send out an email detailing how to access that afterwards. But uh, we are recording this, and you'll be able to access it later. So, uh, as as Jeff mentioned, we're also really excited to offer a sneak peek of our brand new roof mount product. It'll be unveiled formally at Intersolar on July 10th. And this is Precision roof mount system. Uh, the goal of the Precision system and design effort was really to retain the strengths of the original Sunlink system, but evolve the product by reducing the number of fasteners and parts, simplifying on-roof assembly, standardizing parts, and perhaps most exciting, we wanted to make it possible to follow the structure and therefore make solar installations possible on a much larger range of rooftops, including those with a weaker deck. So, on our next slide, you can see the precision system. And if we start in the lower left-hand corner and move to the right, you can first see what we call the long beam assembly. And the long beam assembly connects the precision system in the north-south direction. It includes an angle strut and yoke, which will attach the what we call the substructure to the superstructure or the, or the panel that sits above it and holds the modules. This long beam assembly is delivered pre-assembled specific for your project, uh, which is going to ease and speed up your installation considerably. Uh, one note I should make before I move on is that the system is a, an aluminum system, uh, which obviously has you know, huge corrosion or anti-corrosion benefits. If we move to the right, the next component that's labeled here is a recycled rubber foot. And that rubber foot is similar uh, to the precision, to, sorry, to the core foot, except that this foot is also stackable, which is great for both shipping and potentially shimming on a roof. Uh, the foot, you know, enhances the roof-friendly characteristics of the system and is, is a really valuable addition. If we move to the next, to the right, to the next, you'll see the spar assembly. The spar assembly consists of a strut bracket, pivot block, and spar. And this is where we'll attach, this is where you'll attach your modules uh, in the east-west direction. You'll attach your modules in what we call pre-panelization. Uh, many of you who are familiar with the legacy system will know about pre-panelization. We'll cover that in a, uh, in a future slide here. But uh, you'll be able to pre-panelize these modules and install them quickly and securely on the roof. If we move up to the center of the slide, you can see we've got identified a module clip. And the module clip is a really clever element of the precision system. Specifically, it attaches the modules to the spar, but also provides an integrated grounding uh, element throughout the entire system. This, this reduces the need for grounding lugs on the system and requires only one grounding lug per continuous array. Precision is, conforms or listed to UL 2703, and will be certified by ETL for use with all photovoltaic modules certified under UL 1703. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner, lastly, I want to cover the optional integrated wire management. 
Again, those that are familiar with the legacy system will know about our wire management offerings and how they're a, a smooth installation and integration into the system. Uh, this system, this wire management solution is very similar, but it's been adapted for the precision system. If you want further, further details on the precision system, you can log on to Sunlink's website and access the installation manual to give a, a more close-up detail of some of the components. So next, pre-panelization. As I mentioned, uh, those of you that are familiar with the legacy system will know about pre-panelization. And there's two huge benefits to pre-panelization. It offers the ability to, to complete a significant piece of the assembly off-site. Uh, this can be especially advantageous in the case of poor weather. Uh, it can minimize the amount of time you need to be on the roof to install your solar array. In addition, it's got huge efficiency benefits as far as installing multiple modules at one time. Uh, Pre-panelization, for those that don't know, is the process of assembling columns of three or four modules together with pre-assembled precision spars into panel assemblies. Uh, the beauty of this approach is really that it takes that pre-panelization can take place anytime, anywhere, uh, while the, the mounting structure is being assembled on the roof. So, next slide, tilt to access. Tilt to access is another feature. Uh, that those who know the legacy system will be familiar with. Tilt access is slightly different here. Um, the key of tilt access, there's two real benefits, and it's that it allows you to tilt the panels up further than the designed angle to allow easy access for wiring and also for, in, for maintenance over the lifetime of the system, easy access to the roof or, or any of the underlying features of the array. Tilt access in the precision system consists of a series of panel props that will be installed between the panel and the substructure, the long beam assembly. Uh, this will be a removable feature which you'll be able to place in place when you need it and then pull it away uh, and store it until you need to access the underside of the modules later. On our next slide, cover the roof following capabilities of the system. Specifically, Precision has the ability to handle a seven degree maximum roof slope and up to a five degree maximum uh, variation in a roof. So that'll take care of any kind of undulations, crickets, or other um, non-flat elements of the roof. If we move to the next slide, we'll cover what I'm also really, really excited to talk about, which is structure following. Structure following is the ability of the precision system to move the feet in the east-west direction. This allows us to intelligently load a system and load it right over the structural members of the roof. This will allow many roofs that may have been regarded as not having adequate deck capacity to be able to handle a solar array. Uh, we find that this is, this is going to really open up a new, new area, a new territory of, of roofs within the solar industry and, and encourage a lot of additional installations. We're really excited about this. If we go to the next slide, we'll cover roof-friendly features. And as Jeff mentioned with the core system, Precision also has roof-friendly features. Specifically, there's no area in a fully balanced system where the Precision, the metal precisions of, uh, the metal components of Precision will actually touch the roof. So both at the foot, you have a recycled rubber foot and at the ballast pad, you have a recycled uh, rubber pad, so there'll be no interface of metal on roof surface. The precision system was also specifically designed to accommodate thermal forces. Uh, the fact the rubber foot is slightly oversized to the metal foot bracket, which you can see on the right-hand side of the slide, means that any expansion or contraction of the precision system due to temperature swings will be absorbed within the sliding mechanism within the rubber foot. This is going to eliminate any kind of on-roof movement between the uh, foot and the roof, which is going to eliminate any kind of potential damage to the roof due to thermal forces. So 
that's a, that's a quick rundown of the Precision System. Like I said, we're really excited about it, and you'll be able to see it. We'll launch it on July 10th at Intersolar at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. We're really excited to show it to you in person and uh, you know let you gather more details about it. Jeff, do you have any questions coming through? Yeah, yeah, a couple of good questions. Um, someone mentioned uh, wind deflectors. Are those required on Precision? That's a great question. You know, we've completed some further wind tunnel testing lately, uh, and with the Precision system, we've been able to eliminate the need for wind deflectors. Uh, that's that's great. That that should offer some uh, some nice cost savings to to people interested in Precision. Um, lots of questions about um, pads underneath the ballast. Is there uh, um, I think you, you mentioned it quickly, but um, is there something underneath the, the ballast pan uh, to protect the roof surface? Precision? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. So uh, you, can, you can look onto the Precision website to get a better idea of the exact ballast basket, but, um, but to answer your question directly, there is a rubber pad between the ballast basket and the roof uh, so that the pad and no other piece of the, um, I'm sorry, the, the basket and no other piece of the system will actually touch the roof. It'll always be a rubber interface between the roof and the precision system. Great. Excellent. Um, how about the, the, the prop for tilt axis? Is that something that's included or uh, is that an accessory like wear management that you'd have to purchase extra? So that, that's another great question. Uh, the props will come inclusive of the system. Uh, it won't be an accessory. And it'll come specifically allotted to the size of the system. But you know, as with any of our products or, or uh, elements of our products, if for some reason a customer needs an additional amount of panel props, they can easily contact our project management group and their specific project manager to accommodate their specific project needs. Great, excellent. Well, we got a lot of questions filtering through. Um, I think we're going to move on in the, uh, to be sensitive to people's time, but we will have some uh, additional time at the end to try to get to, get to some more questions. Um, so I just wanted to take a little bit of time to share some, some interesting R&D work that was recently completed at Sunlink. Um, you can see the pictures here uh, of the boundary layer wind tunnel at University of Western Ontario, where Sunlink has run more than 1,000 tests to ensure both, uh, both core and precision are safe for a wide range of wind loads. Uh, however, our recent work involves submitting core and precision to live seismic testing. Um, this picture here is core on what's called a multi-directional shake table, and this particular one is located at UC Berkeley's Pacific Earthquake Engineering Research Center. And, and we're proud to be the first solar racking company to perform uh, seismic earthquake testing on full-scale production systems. So uh, just to give you a little glimpse of some of the testing, I want to show you a quick video. So this, uh, this particular testing uh, submitted Sunlink systems to over 200 seismic events. And we looked at things like uh, the effect of roof slope, the amount of ballast, uh, different roof surface types, wet and dry conditions. And as you can see from some of this video, the, uh, the systems came through in really great condition. There was no damage at all to any of the, the components or parts or any of the roof surfaces. So as you can see, uh, see from the pictures here, the roofs used in the testing were also uh, undamaged. Um, the top left is the test bed with a mineral cap sheet roof surface, and the bottom right is a PVC roof, and these are both post-testing. And we had a licensed California roof inspector come back and evaluate the roof condition post-testing, and he found no damage at all, uh, even under extensive interaction between the systems and the roof. Um, for those of you who are interested, we do have a copy of that report on our website, and we'll have a, a link to it at the end of the presentation. So that's just a real quick look at some of the recent R&D activity we've been up to. Uh, and I'm going to toss it, toss it back to Ian to wrap things up for us. Thanks, Jeff. That was really exciting. Uh, you know, this slide here, I think, is a really good illustration of the differences between the core and precision system. Uh, and 
I think one of the specific things about this is to, that I didn't mention earlier is that the precision system can handle, handle up to a 30 degree tilt angle, whereas the core system is focused on the 5 and 10 degree tilt angle. If we go to our next slide, uh, I wanted to recap quickly the, the other balance of system offerings that Sunlink provides. Uh, so obviously we've spoken about precision and core today, uh, but Sunlink also provides a large-scale ground mount system uh, that's actively being installed in different parts of North America. We have a combiner box line which, with uh, many different variations in, in capabilities, um, specifically, you know, would handle any requirements you might need on any different type of project. Uh, and then in the lower right-hand corner, you can see our ballasted ground mount system, which is a great solution for where you don't want to disturb the soil underneath possibly a landfill or, or other site similar. Uh, on our next slide, I really wanted to cover, I mentioned earlier that, that Precision will be launched at InterSolar on July 10th. Uh, we'll be in booth 9123 in the West Hall Level 3 at the Moscone Center. And we'll all be very excited and looking forward to seeing you and showing you our new products firsthand. In addition, in October, I'm sorry, in September, we'll be out in, in Orlando for the Solar Power International show. Uh, that's September 10th to 13th, and we'll also have a booth there. And we'll look forward to meeting you all there as well. In addition, the Sunlink team is always happy to welcome customers to our training center and showroom in San Leandro, California. Uh, this really offers you know, a personalized tour of the systems and, and potentially even let you um, do a slight uh, sample installation so you can really get a hands-on experience for the, for the products and how easily they go together. Um, on our next slide, I really wanted to give you one more chance if you want to, to have a look at our videos. Uh, the core video that you mentioned, or that we showed, sorry, uh, is available at the URL listed here, as well as the R&D video that we showed. Uh, and of course, if you want to contact sales, you can contact us at sales at sunlink.com or for additional questions or feedback on this webinar, please contact us at webinar at sunlink.com. With that, I'd like to turn it over to a few more questions. Um, we've been really happy and, and excited to talk to you about our products today and we're glad that you all joined us for this. We hope you found it informational and we will, I will kick it back to Jeff to handle a couple of more questions that have come in. Thanks for being yeah. an active involved audience. Thank, thanks a lot Ian. Um, yeah, lots of good uh, questions filtering through. Um, someone then asked if uh, the systems that were seismic tested were uh, ballasted or connected and those were in fact uh, all ballasted systems. So we, we totally understand that every jurisdiction is different and some uh, aren't going to allow ballasted, ballasted systems at all. But for those that are, we are able to um, provide a, a ballasted solution under, under seismic loads. Um, another question came through uh, regarding slip sheets and whether they're required underneath, uh, underneath the feet. Um, that's, a, that's a tricky question. Um, uh, as always, you're going to want to check with your particular uh, uh, roof manufacturer and check up on that particular warranty. Um, as far as Sunlink's concerned, we do have the, the nice big re recycled rubber feet uh, that are going to be the main interface between the roof. Uh, and as we mentioned, um, we do have a lot of thermal compensation in the system, so we don't expect those feet to move at all. Uh, so from a technical standpoint, we don't see any reason for a slip sheet. Uh, however, you, you know, each, each case is going to be different and you're going to want to check with your particular manufacturer just to be sure about that. That's great, Jeff. Thanks. You know, I've got a question here about precision specifically and how it's ballasted. And although we didn't show a slide uh, detailing the, the ballast solution for precision, it is what we call a ballast basket. It's different than the core uh, ballast pan in that it actually looks like a wire form basket which attaches to the long beam assembly and holds standard sized pavers. Uh, as I mentioned before, it also holds a rubber pad to keep both of the both the pavers and the 
the metal or wire form ballast basket off of the roof. But uh, you can go on our, to our website to get further details on that. Question here, it says, uh, it says, do the precision spars come as one unit or in segments? That's a good question. The precision spars will come uh, will come as as specifically as spars as we showed in this slide, and the the pivot blocks and angle struts will be attached on site specific to the project spacing that uh, our engineering team has specified. I got another good question here. Um, what is the what is the production lead time for the precision system? And our standard lead time for this system is a six-week lead time. Um, we're happy to get you a product within six weeks of an order. There were some some questions earlier about uh, module size, and maybe I'll give a, give a little better clarity on that. Um, people were specifically interested in uh, 70 to 80 or 80 cell modules or 96 cell modules, 300 series modules. So core is compatible compatible with all those, um, including you know the big. 96 uh, cell 300 series modules, so it's going to it's going to work with all of those. That's great, Jeff. Thanks a lot. You know, I think uh, our questions. Are, I think we've handled a good number of questions, and we're happy to handle more questions at the uh, shows, both InterSolar in about two weeks, and uh, we're happy to also handle them over sales at sunlink.com. Um, but I think. To be respectful of everyone's time, it's a good time to wrap up. Um, once again, thanks a lot for being a, an involved audience. We really appreciate the questions and the feedback, and we look forward to having more um, input from you soon. So thanks again, and have a great day.